personally think it's going to become more natural. I think, and and it's kind of, you know, it, it's it's what Lyndon just said that um, maybe a prediction for the future is we we need to look to the past for what will happen in the future. Um, and I was just thinking as you were asking this question, you know, the, the whole question of ergonomics as well. I think there's a problem when human try to become machines and you know through mass production and through you know having a, a, a much more higher level of expectation for productivity we're all trying to produce like machines but once we can create and if we can create machines to take over the work of the machines so that the machines are doing those work then humans can go back to becoming humans to be more creative, to uh, work on more innovation as opposed to repetitive um, uh, production. And if that's the case, then it's not so much about sitting in front of a computer or a drafting desk, drafting, uh, drafting like machines, but it's more about taking a notebook, um, sit under a tree, and daydream. Uh, so I am hoping, you know, that. that my sort of future envision for working is to be able to go back and return to nature, so that your workspace is more like it, more like a garden. Your workspace is more like a home. It's like a kitchen and bedroom and living room, and bathroom, all in one kind of space. Not to be over nostalgic about what Rosanna is just saying, we are going to. I think the future is going to be about going back to the tribal mentality that once uh, going back to the cave where and there is no clear definition of living dining room, it's just about living. It's about going back, as Rosanna says, to nature, back to the provincial things, to the more parochial things maybe, and yet still can address global issues. So the source now, when you go see a product, you don't really know where it's from. India, China, whether it's sustainable, whether these were made by children or by older folks that has nothing to do. Now we can, through technology, by technology serving us, we can actually relate one-on-one -on -one without things becoming too commercial, things too gentrified, things becoming too fast. It could still equally be as productive, yet we can have the sources and the capability of getting in touch with a real uh, source of things.